Okay, so Fox have announced the new range of EP batteries. Before we had the EP5 and the EP11, there's now an EP3, 4 and 10. So with with the way that the Fox high voltage battery range is becoming more diverse, slightly more complicated in terms of the options that are available, I thought I'd put together a single slide or single sheet that shows all the data about the battery options so uh, i'm not expecting you to read all of the data properties off of this screen recording if you look in the description of this video you'll find a link to the actual sheet itself but the main uh, things to call out is the ep range now has five options scaling from a 3.3 kilowatt hour battery all the way up to a 10.36 kilowatt hour battery with a range in the middle. Haven't yet got pricing for the entire range. I will add that line so you can compare total cost, uh, total full stack cost, as well as what the cost per kilowatt hour is. I think that would be pretty interesting when you're making a decision on what battery to go with. I've also included more of the legacy batteries, so the Myra HV25 and the HV2600. 2600 being a super popular option around the 2019-2020 area uh, era rather and um, they then introduced a slightly smaller battery during the chip shortages the ECS batteries came out uh, around sort of 21 I think it was 2021 and the ECS batteries also known as cubes they have uh, five options as well scaling from a 2.76 kilowatt per module all the way up to a 4.66 kilowatt hour per module so you can, with Fox, currently go from 13.2 uh, kilowatt hours uh, all the way up to, I think it would be, the largest ECS is 32.61, um, or the EP11 is 41.6 kilowatt hours. There is also an, uh, an EQ range, which I'll add shortly, that's just over 40 kilowatt hours. And then Fox have got their grid scale commercial offering which is 200 kilowatt hour modules, which is more for commercial grid operators. But really, uh, really interesting to see the data all laid out in one place so you can scan across and see the differences. The main thing that stood out to me are the voltage ranges. Sometimes you, you'll notice that the voltages uh, are the same uh, per pack. So across the three e ECS ranges, sorry, the four ECS ranges, they're all um, a module voltage of uh, 115 volts. But then the 4800 is less volts uh, per module, as an example. You can see the uh, peak versus the recommended charge current, discharge current in amps. That's really important from a performance perspective to make sure that you can maximize your inverter's capability, especially on larger inverters like with the three phase inverters or now the uh, up to 10.5 kilowatt um, kh series inverters so they're um you're going to want to make sure that you have the volts and the amps to deliver the kilowatt uh, throughput that you'll need to be able to fully utilize your inverter some differences on the the cycle uh, life prediction so with the ep ranges having a greater than 4000 cycle um uh, life and everything else supporting 6,000 plus uh, cycles. Some of the IP ingress protection, obviously, with the EP and the uh, cubes supporting IP65, and the Myra and the HV2600 only supporting IP21, which is really dust proof, if anything. So you wouldn't want to install the uh, Myra or the HV2600 outdoors. They are stated as indoor only. And they have exposed connections, whereas everything else in the range has now adapted to being um, that IP65 rating and quite often are installed outdoors. So anyway, uh, feel free to look at the, the sheet. Uh, I'll try and uh, add comment right so people can comment on it and make sure that we keep this sheet up to date, accurate and live. But yeah, it's really good to see that there are now um, even more options when it comes to the EP range of batteries. Thanks.